Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the dry unit weight of soil. That what is dry unit weight and how we can find the dry unit weight of the soil sample. So I will explain this with the phase diagram. So it will be more easy to understand. So phase diagram of soil. What is basically the phase diagram of soil? Basically, the soil has three phases. One has air, one is water, and one is solids. So the volume of the air represented by VA, the volume of the water represented by VW, and the water and the volume of solids represented by Vs. The total volume is represented by V, where V is equal to the total volume, volume of air, volume of water, and volume of solids. Similarly, the air weight is represented by WA, the weight of the water represented by WW, and the weight of the solids is represented by WS. And the total weight is W. The total weight of the soil sample is W, which is equal to the weight of air, weight of water, and weight of solids. So now, what is dry unit weight of the soil sample? So the dry unit weight, the dry unit weight is represented by gamma dry and it is equal to the, by looking into the phase diagram, it is equal to the weight of the solids, weight of solids dividing by the total volume of soil. So now, what is weight of solids? The weight of solid is only the weight of this component of the soil. soil, soil. So, weight of solid is represented by Ws. So, it will be equal to the Ws, weight of solids, dividing by total volume of soil. What is total volume of soil? This is total volume of soil, which contains the volume of air, volume of water, and volume of solids, dividing by the total volume of soil. So, this is known as the dry, dry unit weight of the soil sample. Now, if I take an example, for example, the weight of the solids, only the weight of the solids, this weight, the weight of this solids, for example, is Ws, and it is equal to, for example, is 40 kilonewton. 40 kilonewton, Ws is 40 kilonewton, is the weight of the solids. And for example, let's suppose the volume, the total volume of this soil sample, V, is equal to the 2 cubic meter. So, what will be the dry unit weight, gamma dry, will be equal to the Ws divided by V. So, W is, S is 40 kilonewton and V is 2 cubic meter. So, it will become 20. So, 20 kilonewton per cubic meter is the dry density of this soil sample. So, hope you guys understand how to find out the dry unit weight of the soil sample. If you know the weight of the solids and the total volume of the soil sample and please don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video